In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to use any chat GPT prompt properly like a professional copywriter. I'm Alex with Lover Fighter Writer. Please like and subscribe and let's get into it. I always kind of chuckle when I see ads for products that are offering 300 chat GPT prompts or 1,000 chat GPT prompts or 10,000 chat GPT prompts. It seems so silly to me, but I've been working with AI writing software pretty much since it became commercially available, which isn't long, but it's longer than most people. And I think because I have a lot of education and experience as a writer as well, I kind of see AI writing software a little bit differently than most people. But to me, the great thing about an AI writer like ChatGPT is that you don't need a thousand prompts. You basically need two or three prompts to get you started and from there, all of the other prompts are just going to chain naturally off of what the computer tells you and any additional context that you want to add in order to influence it. So I've got this document. Uh, it looks like right now I have 14 chat GBT prompts for uh, marketing. I certainly have more that I use on a regular basis, but these are the 14 that I put together so far. I'll put the link to this document in the description of the video. You don't have to opt in for it or anything. Uh, it'll just it'll just open this uh, screen. And then if you go to file, make a copy, it'll copy to your Google Drive. Or if you don't have Google, then you can just go to file, download and choose the version that you want and you'll be able to download it and use it from there. And so there's only 14 now, but I'll continue to add to these and you're welcome to check back regularly, but you can just copy it whenever you need to. But as I'm going to demonstrate, it's not really a matter of how good the prompt is because the prompt can be very simple to begin with. It's where the thought process takes you and how you guide the AI writer that really makes a difference. So I went through these and I decided that we would do an example with Secret Agent Man, which is write a list of secret reasons why someone who wants to buy product might wait a week, a month, or a year before buying. So something that we understand very well as marketers and salespeople is that many customers will take anywhere from a couple hours to a couple months or even longer before they decide to buy something from you. And this is from when they've learned who you are and what you're selling until they decide to actually make the purchase. And this is because everyone has a different level of understanding that they want to have of what they're buying before they're, they buy it. And depending on them and you and exactly what the offer is and how much it costs and how relevant an investment that is to them, there can be a lot of variance in how long it takes someone to actually make a purchase. And so what this prompt is doing is asking the AI writer to suggest reasons why someone who will eventually make a purchase might wait a certain amount of time. And so it's a pretty vague prompt with only one piece of criteria that you have to fill in. And so now we're going to go back to ChatGPT and I'm going to show you the basic way to use this prompt and the advanced way to use this prompt. Now, the product that I'm going to use for this example is something that I'm putting together right now. Ordinarily, I charge $200 an hour for marketing consultations, and I decided to put together a special offer for new clients where they get a 45-minute consultation for $100, so a significant discount on that, but then they also get a bundle of marketing resources like templates, chat GPT commands, blog templates, email templates, lead funnels that they can copy, just pretty much everything that you really need to start a small online business. And so they would get that as well as 45 minutes of my time. And part of the whole consultation would be helping them figure out which of the resources they want to use and how. And so that's the general idea that I'm going to be working with here when I'm talking about who might be wanting to buy it or waiting to buy it. So I'm going to replace the product field with a marketing consultation and resource startup bundle. So we have write a list of secret reasons why someone who wants to buy a marketing consultation and resource startup bundle might wait a week, a month, or a year before buying. And so this is the basic kind of beginner way where you just take the prompt, you fill in whatever information it requires, and then you ask the computer. So ChatGPT has very helpfully broken it down into the three different time considerations that I specified. And so under waiting a week, we have financial considerations. 
research, as in they want to learn more before they make a purchase. Comparison, as in they want to research alternatives. Timing, as in they might be waiting until they get their tax return or waiting until their next paycheck or waiting for someone else to uh, invest in the purchase with them. And then waiting a month, we have budget, budget planning, strategy alignment, team consultation, seasonal considerations, very similar stuff. And then waiting a year, uh, we have very similar things again, uh, just in a more long-term sense. So that definitely provided some uh, decent ideas and uh, a place to start if you were trying to think of, for example, marketing newsletters that you could send to your email subscribers in hopes that they would make a purchase or make an additional purchase or make a larger purchase. But you also may have noticed that it was fairly generic and a little bit repetitive and didn't really give me the kind of helpful information that would drill down on what I need to do in order to make a sale. So I'm going to paste the command in here again, but this time before I use the command, I'm going to break it down a little bit. All right. So we have product, which is where you put what you're selling, but then we also have a few other elements that are worth considering and playing with. So the first one is someone. And in this context, someone pretty clearly means someone who would eventually become a customer and ChatGPT understood that and behaved accordingly. But if I were to specify exactly who someone is, for example, a specific customer avatar or a specific market segment or something like that, then I could potentially get much more detailed answers. And another thing that I can do is reduce the number of variables on the end so that it doesn't give me three different versions of very similar answers but instead more information on one thing. So I'm going to say might wait a month before buying. Just kind of split the difference and take the middle option. And for the first part here, I'm going to use a customer persona that I designed in a different AI writer. This one's called Super Copy. I'll put a link to it in the description in case you want to check it out. And so I'm just going to take this one right here. So the segment is called Energetic Small Business Owner. So I'm going to come up here and go to someone write a list of secret reasons why an energetic small business owner who wants to buy a marketing consultation and startup resources bundle might wait a month before buying. And we'll ask ChatGPT. So as you can see, it's already going much deeper because whereas before I only had four points for each area and they were all very, very similar, in this one, I've only asked for one span of time, so I got 10 points. We have cash flow management, which wasn't mentioned in the previous command, client acquisition timing, strategic planning, resource allocation, team integration, market research, negotiation strategy, personal commitments, legal compliance, and testing the waters. So that's a wider variety of ideas. And earlier when I said that you don't need a whole bunch of commands because the follow-up commands should just evolve from what the robot gives you. I'll show you what I mean by that because that's part of using the prompt like a professional. So now I'm going to take this title again and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say Myra, an energetic small business owner who, I'm going to come back to my persona and I'm going to look at some of the prepared goals that I have for this client segment. And so I have Myra, an energetic small business owner who needs to establish a brand identity, increase online visibility, gain, and gain more customers through effective content marketing, wants to buy my marketing consultation, but she has a personal commitment to her family that would prevent her from, from being able to use the consultation and resource bundle right away. Suggest three titles for marketing emails that solve this objection by informing Myra she has up to six months to book her consultation after paying for it. To review what I've done so far is I customized the prompt in order to specify who was looking to buy from it, to specify who was looking to buy the product and the amount of time that they were planning to delay the purchase. ChatGPT gave me 10 reasons why they might be delaying it. I chose one, which was personal commitments. And then I wrote a prompt inventing a customer avatar on the spot, just put in a name there. So Myra, an energetic business owner, 
I tell ChatGPT that she wants to buy my product, but something is preventing her from doing so at the moment. I tell it why she isn't ready to buy it right now, and I ask it to brainstorm three titles for marketing emails that would solve this concern. All right, so there's some good bones in these, but I don't like them overall, and one of the reasons is that these are too long for email titles, and so all that I need to do here is say something like rewrite the above titles focusing on the main benefit but using less than 50 characters for each title. I might not get this perfect, but generally it's good at paying attention. Yeah, so we have flexibility. I don't like that. Your time, your growth, schedule within six months, plan your success, plan your success, six month booking available. All right, I don't really like any of those, but I did like part of one of these and it was invest in your business today, schedule your consultation when you're ready. So that is still too wordy, but I can just take this part of it, part that I like, and I'm gonna say rewrite the following to make it less than 50 characters and write it in sentence case. So you see this one, the one that I just copied here, it's in title case, which means that every word is capitalized. And I don't like that, so I just said write it in sentence case, which means that only the first word is gonna be capitalized. Oh, I forgot, to, okay, that's embarrassing. I forgot to give it the, uh, the thing that I wanted it to rewrite. So I just hold shift and hit enter to make space, and there we go. All right, that's actually quite simple and succinct. I kind of like it. I'm gonna play with it a little bit. So I'll say write 10 similar variations of the following email title with every variation being less than 50 characters. And then we paste this. Okay, so I actually really like this one, uh, Secure Now, Book Later. And I think I would actually turn it into something like Secure Your Spot Now, Book Up to Six Months Ahead, Book When You're Ready book when ready. So I think that makes it a little bit more personal and it adds some urgency here, but then it makes it clear that you don't have to book your appointment right away. And now for one last little bonus step here, I'm going to say write a marketing email, write a story-based marketing email that explains you can pay for my discounted marketing consultation today, but have, but can wait up to six months to book a time. Use the following title. Then we have the title, write a story-based marketing email that explains you can pay for my discounted marketing consultation today, but can wait up to six months to book a time. All right, I got the title correct. Your name, Ever felt like you've stumbled upon an opportunity too good to pass up, but a nice commitment seemed to tug on your... All right, I'm just kind of skimming it right now, but it looks decent. It's not uh, amazing, but I could continue working on it the way that I have been, or I could just edit it myself and use it. And so as you can see, it's like I said, you really don't need a huge list of prompts. You just need to understand the AI writing tool well enough to come up with a good first prompt. And then you need to use your own inductive and deductive thinking abilities to guide the AI in the right direction in order to get the kind of information and ideas and copy that you want to use. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.